Thanks for the great introduction. Yeah. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Wen Jie. I'm from NUS, and uh, today's presentation title is Uplift Modeling for Target User Attack on Recommender System. So I will briefly introduce it. This task, I guess, uh, is mine not familiar for uh, most of us. Is about target user attacks on recommendation system, and I will introduce the uh, framework to uh, for better budget allocation. It means that how to assign the fake users, uh, inject users to different uh, target users for attack. So it will include two parts. Uh, it's one is called treatment effect estimation, and another one is uh, budget constraint treatment optimization. I will introduce one by one, and followed by some experiments and conclusion. Yeah. So let me first introduce the task called shading attack. Actually, shading hack is has a long history in uh recommendation system. I guess it's the goal is to to be short. Goal is to enhance the uh, exposure or some maybe some time target item to all users. So it's uh, from the attack uh, attacker view. It's about how can we inject some fake users to the uh, training data of the recommender system so the recommender system can be uh, can recommend more uh, target item to uh, re recommend the target item to more users. So in this way we can attack this kind of system right and we can as uh, Dr. Lee said we can uh, promote our own content to more users so uh, we can get more maybe po more profit or this kind of thing yeah so the master the cool idea is that we can inject maybe some fake users to the training data of the system because the most of the uh, recommended system will consider the user similarity right so it will we, uh, we we might assume that maybe uh, similar users will like sim uh, similar items, so we give, give some similar recommendation. Maybe one user have liked this item before, and another user with some sim uh, some similar history in interactions, we can just recommend this item to another user. So based on this kind of user similarity, so we can. Uh, Trick this kind of uh, recommender system to uh, recommend more uh, the target item to more users. But the, in the previous definition, shilling attack means that we can recommend uh, this kind of target item to uh, all users. So we just promote the expo exposure to all users. So, but actually, uh, we 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 consider another task. It's called target user attack. What's the reason? Because for maybe for some product or some micro videos, not all everyone will like this kind of. Uh, Product or videos, right? So if we uh promote this kind of product to uh many many uh many uh users, maybe only some of them are interested and will will buy or watch uh, or watch it. So it will waste our uh resource. It means that the attack resource for the attack resource. I guess the one thing is about the fake users because we need to maybe inject some fake users on the platform, maybe build some rob uh, bot users so we can control this kind of user, right? So if we want to promote the target item to all the users. We will wait maybe with some uh, this kind of fake user budgets. So we uh, consider another ta task called the target user attack. So we can only uh, we only consider to expose a target item to a specific user group instead of all users. But uh, uh, to attack this kind of uh, target users, we can uh, use utilize well utilize our uh, maybe fake user budget to achieve a better attack performance. So for the uh, attack user attack, uh, attack user attacks, we consider one big problem is about the attack easiness across users. Because for uh, given a target item, given a target item, maybe the attack easiness varies across different users, right? Maybe some users uh, maybe have a lot higher probability to be recommended, while some other users are not. So uh, we consider that the attack easiness varies across different users, uh, and we consider how to uh, well optimize the allocation of our attack resources so that we can achieve a higher attack success, uh, uh, success rate. So we consider this kind of thing, how we can uh, maybe assign, allocate the fake user budget to, dif uh, to different uh, uh, target users. Maybe th uh, here are two uh, target you sorry, maybe th we, have, we have two target users. So maybe we have uh, maybe four uh, fake user budget. We can allocate two uh, fake users to a for the attack of one target user. So we can control this kind of location, right? So we can um, uh, 
uh, allocate um, a more uh, lim uh, allocate limited resources to the uh, valuable target users, so we can achieve a higher uh, attack success rate. So here we formulate this kind of uh, task as a in causal language. So the treatment here uh, is that the number of the fake users assigned to the each target user. Maybe we have uh, two target users, and we we all have maybe the number of fake users. We can control the number of the the fake user assigned to each target target user. And the outcome is that the recommendation probability from the victim recommend model uh, by the victim model uh, to recommend this kind of target item to the to each target user. So it's uh, for each uh, target item is a vector for the treatment. So it recalls the number of the fake users assigned to the uh, to each target user, and the outcome is also a vector. It recalls the recommendation probability of the target item to each target user. But the, this kind of um, effect is quite different because the attack easiness varies across this kind of user, right? So maybe for some users, the uplift is higher. When we were given, uh, given uh, the same number of the fake user bodies, maybe the uplift is uh, are different across two users, two target users. Yeah, so we need to well utilize the resource to achieve a higher uh, attack uh, performance. So in this way, it be becomes, uh, I guess, it becomes an optimization problem. So the the uh, resource are, uh, are constrained, right? So are limited. We can uh, how do we uh, assign this kind of resources to different uh, target users? So uh, we uh, we want to measure this kind of treatment effect. It means that if we uh, if we assign different number of the fake you uh, the dif different number of the fake fake users, uh, what's the recommendation probability will uh, uh, happen on this kind of victim recommended model? So we need to measure this kind of uh, treatment effect. So it's 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 like this. Maybe given uh, uh two fake uh, two fake users, we will achieve uh. Uh, 0 0.1 uh, uh, recommendation probability like this. So we can uh, measure this kind of effect and uh, to uh, optimize this kind of uh, constrained, uh, this, this constrained optimization problem, yeah. So I have the idea that at first we need to ma uh, measure this kind of treatment effect to uh, with respect to different budgets for each uh, target user, and then we can do this kind of budget constraint treatment or uh, optimization. This is quite easy because it, I guess it's, we can easily use some dynamic programming algorithm to solve this problem. Yeah, to solve this optimization problem. To, uh, for the first part, how to measure the treatment uh, effect? We have two ways. Uh, one uh, solution is that to estimate the treatment effect uh, by some simulation experiments. It means that we can use some uh, we can use some treatment uh, surrogate model, and we can do the uh, the world training with the attackers. So attackers will generate uh, the fake users, and we. Uh, Record the uh, calculate the the performance on the surrogate model. So we know uh, when the uh, budget uh, varies, what's the attack performance or what's the uh, recommendation probability. So we can do this kind of simulation result, uh, simulation experiments. So the uh, robustness of this uh, this surrogate model becomes very uh, becomes important. And for this, for the first. Uh, strategy for this strategy, it will take uh, it will take multi-turn training, right? Because we need to train over different uh, budgets, so uh, it will take a, a lot of time. But for the second strategy, we we can use the uh, interaction data to directly uh, estimate the treatment effect. It means that we can use some we we found uh, we have found that the high order pass number between a user and player is highly correlated with the recommendation probability. It means that if two, if one user and uh, um, one item is very close in the user item uh, user item interaction uh, graph, it means that uh, interaction graph in the uh, training data. If the the user is very close to the uh, item, uh, 
based on some collaborative filtering signals. So the, this kind of collaborative filtering models will have this kind of correlation. It means that if uh, the two, uh, if the given the user and the item, if the path between the uh, uh, from the user to the item, if the number, this kind of path number will have a uh, strong correlation with the probability, with the recommendation probability. So we have some proof, uh, proof uh, on the uh, in the paper. So uh, I will not give too uh, many details here. But to be short, the idea that if the uh, user is very close to the uh, target item uh, in the uh, user item intention graph, so the recommendation probability is quite high, is, is very high. So there is a correlation here. So we can use this kind of hard, uh, high order interaction path number to estimate this kind of treatment uh, effect. So based on these two strategies, we can estimate uh, given a, a limited budget, what's the recommendation probability over a user item pair. And given this kind of function, we can, uh, we can uh, measure the recommendation probability given different uh, uh, fake user bodies. Uh, with this constrained fake user bodies, we can optimize this, this function. Yeah, we can uh, calculate what's the uh, best uh, optimize, uh, 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 fake user allocation vector. Yeah, uh, what's the best treatment here? Yeah, so how many uh, fake users we should assign to, for each uh, target, uh, uh, for each target user, yeah. Uh, we have uh, done many experiments in uh, this uh, paper. One is that we can apply this kind of strategy because it's a more diagnostic strategy, right? We can decide uh, the fake user budget allocation, but for the fake user generation, we can use different strategies, different attack models. So we apply this kind of strategy to different uh, attack models, and we test the performance, uh, and we found that it, it performs quite well on three kind of different uh, three, uh, three different uh, uh, attack models. And uh, we also found that if we change many parameters, for example, we can change the, uh, for the for the training data, maybe the attacker can access different proportion of the training data, right? Maybe uh, only, uh, they can only have maybe uh, 10 the interaction of 10 users, 10% uh, users or 20% users. So we can change this kind of the uh, proportion of the accessible interactions. And also, we can change the target user numbers. Maybe we can attack only 100 users or 200 users or 15 uh, uh, users. So we can change this kind of target user numbers. So we found that the results are quite robust. Uh, of course, we can uh, because the uh, the attack budget is limited. We can uh, we have found that with uh, uh, fewer uh, attack budgets we can have a better uh, relative improvements over the baselines. Also, we, we test uh, under different uh, weak models, uh, like different C collaborative filtering uh, models. And also, we all test under the, uh, with the defense model. Maybe some defense model can uh, detect this kind of fake user. We, we can uh, test the performance with this kind of uh, defense models. To summarize, we formulate the task of target user attack. So only promote a target item to a specific group of target users. And also we propose a model agnostic framework to calculate the optimal budget allocation to each target user. And we do many experiments to validate the performance. Uh, for future work, as one is that how uh, can we uh, rela relax the constraint of the, because we, we assume that for each uh, target user, we only also, uh, assign several uh, fake users, but the, you know, the effect are independent. So we are, the, the fake user for another user will not have effect for this user. So we, 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 maybe we need to consider the composed effect of multiple fake users on each target user. And also we can develop more advanced defense strategies tailored for the target user attacks. And also apply this kind of attack to the maybe the Currently, uh, the generative recommendation, iron based recommendation are quite popular. So we can test the, the performance on this kind of model. Yeah. So we, we have a tutorial, I guess, two days before uh, about learning model recommendation. And we will con con continue to do some attack on these kind of models. And welcome to uh, uh, maybe find our material here in our tutorial on the survey. And we, we also have a WeChat account to release summer content about recommender attack. Yeah. 
Thanks for your listening. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, Dr. Wang. Yeah. And let's give applause for the Dr.